In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use social annotation with your bookshelf by vital source e-text right within Blackboard. So first I'll show you what it looks like to annotate a vital source textbook in your Blackboard course. I'm in the content area of my Blackboard course right now, and I have an annotation assignment set up here. The first thing I want to do is ensure I have access to the vital source textbook through my bookshelf by clicking on the link provided here. That will open vital source into a new window where I can log in to my bookshelf and make sure I have access to the text. I also want to make sure that I accept cookies if prompted to do so. Now that I've ensured I have access to the text, I can go back into my Blackboard course and open up the annotation assignment. Blackboard will launch the vital source e-text in addition to the annotation sidebar, where I as the instructor and students can add their comments and annotations to the text as they read. Students would annotate the text the same way they would any other text with hypothesis by selecting the text they'd like to annotate and clicking the annotate button. Now that we've seen what it looks like to use Hypothesis with a Bookshelf by Vital Source eText in your Blackboard course, I'll show you how you can set up a Hypothesis enabled reading with your Vital Source eText. The first thing I'll want to do is pull up the reading I'd like my students to use Hypothesis with in my Vital Source Bookshelf. Once I have the reading pulled up, I'll click on this little I button to bring up more information, which includes the URL of the textbook. So I'll copy that to have that handy. And then I'll navigate back to my Blackboard course where I can set up my hypothesis enabled reading. In my content area, I'll hover over build content and scroll and select hypothesis from the drop down menu. Here, I'll enter my basic assignment information, including the title, and I'll want to include that link to the e-text in my vital source bookshelf so students can ensure they're logged in before accessing Hypothesis. Once I've added the information about the assignment, including the link to the vital source bookshelf e-text, I can scroll down, enable grading for the assignment if I do want to assign grades for the students, and set up due dates if that's something that's desired. I can click Submit to create the assignment shell in my Blackboard course, and then that will be added to my content area. Now that the assignment shell has been added, I can click on the assignment, and from here I can attach the vital source e-text to the hypothesis-enabled reading. I'll do that by choosing vital source from the file picker and pasting that URL of the vital source e-text once again into this bar, I'll click the little arrow to ensure that it's connected and click select book. From here, I can select which section of the textbook I would like students to annotate by selecting the chapter or section itself or by entering a specific page range. So I'm going to choose this section. It will automatically input the page range for me and I'll click select. I can choose whether or not to make it a group assignment and continue. And from here, you can now see that my bookshelf by vital source e-text is connected to my hypothesis enabled reading in Blackboard. Once students are logged into their vital source bookshelf, they'll be able to access their e-text and annotate the e-text right within their Blackboard course.